Hey guys, it's David from TheUnlocker.com and today I'm going to show you how you can root and get a custom recovery and begin flashing custom ROMs on your LG G5. In case first of this could void your warranty, we're not responsible for any of that, blah blah blah. You also need a Windows PC to do this because the program that we're going to use to flash the phone is actually a Windows program. Now you should have done my setup ADB tutorial first to get ADB set up. If you haven't, click the link there to be taken to that. It takes two seconds, finish that, and then we can come back to this one. Now keep in mind, this is going to erase everything. So make sure that you back everything up that you might need. You're going to need a micro SD card for this. So please make sure that you have one before beginning. Now at the time of writing this, this only works on the T-Mobile version and the European version. So if you have one of those two, you can continue. I have a T-Mobile version, so I'm gonna show you how to do that. You can also click the link below to be taken to the written article, which will show you how to do the European version as well. Now for the T-Mobile version, we're gonna need some files. So click on the link here to be taken to this page on XDA. We're gonna then download all of these that you can see here, and then save those to your desktop. So the DM Verify, program is for some reason the link on this page is not working so just click the link on my site I've put it there instead. Once all of those are downloaded we're going to double click the LG up and install that on the PC then the drivers and install those and then the DLL and install that as well. Once all that's installed we can go to the phone we're gonna go to settings go to general scroll all the way down to about phone then go to software info then we're gonna keep tapping build number until it tells you you are a developer. You can then click back, back again, go to developer options, hit okay, don't show this again. And we're gonna turn on OEM unlock, hit enable, turn on USB debugging, and hit okay. When you do that and the phone is plugged in, it's gonna pop up this, say always allow, and hit okay. Then on the computer, we're gonna to go to our C drive and our ADB folder that should have appeared from you doing my how to set up ADB tutorial earlier. And then we can right click anywhere that's blank while holding shift to hit open command window here. Once that command window is open, we're gonna type ADB devices and make sure that it shows us a serial number, which means it can see the phone. Then we're gonna type ADB reboot bootloader and wait for the device to reboot into bootloader mode. Then we can type fastboot OEM unlock and hit enter. Then in the command window, we can type fastboot reboot to get it to reboot. Once it does, we're gonna hold the power button and turn it off. Then we're gonna pull out the battery. So push the button on the top, pull that out, and leave it out for a little bit, and then put it back in. Once we do that, we're going to hold the volume up button and then plug the phone in while continuing to hold the volume up until it gives us the download mode. After that, we're gonna right click the LG Up program and say open as administrator. Then we can click on the device that should be highlighted in pink at the top and choose update. Then we can click in this bottom table and click the three dot button and select the TOT file that we extracted earlier. After that, we can click start and wait for it to flash. After it's done doing that, we are going to mount it so that we can actually transfer files to the phone and we're gonna grab the noverify.zip and the superuser.zip and we're going to put them on the micro SD card, not on the internal storage, on the micro SD card and not inside any folder, just right there on the root of the storage. After that, we can turn the phone off and we're gonna turn it back on by holding down power and volume down until we see the LG logo. As soon as you do, let go of power, push it again while continuing to hold volume down. You'll then get this warning, push volume down to select yes and push power to actually select it. Do that twice and you'll be presented with the custom recovery. We're gonna click cancel on this, then swipe to allow modifications. Then we can tap install. We're gonna do select storage, micro SD, hit okay. And now we're gonna tap the no verify, swipe to flash, wait for that. Once that's done, we can hit back and now do the same thing to the superuser.zip and wait for that to flash. Once that's done, we can hit reboot system, wait for the device to reboot. And when it does, you should see SuperSU on here. You're now rooted, have a custom recovery, and you're all set. There you go, guys. 
you're all set, you're rooted, you can flash custom ROMs, you can actually click the link below and I show you a video on how to do that exactly. Also have a ROM repository on my site where you can find all sorts of ROMs for the LG G5, even with ratings and a whole bunch of other features. You can click the link below for that. Now, if you like this video, please thumbs up it or share it. It is greatly appreciated. And if you want more videos like this or just more tech videos in general, please check out the channel. If you like what you see there, please subscribe. And as always, thanks for watching.